Hey, wolf, it's time to brush your teeth before you go to bed. But mom, I'm so cozy and tired. Do you have No, no, no. What? Sorry. When I get down here first. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh, oh. oh, are you okay? <laughs> okay. Do you have trouble brushing your teeth every night? Well, maybe this experiment will convince you it's worth it. Time to boil some eggs. Boil, baby, boil. First, let's label all of our glasses. Which way does it go? Try to remember. Give it a try. It's okay if you mess up. You got it. Ah. Okay. Water is our control. Oh no, I cut off your head. <laughs> Let's see if we soak them in our favorite liquid. Let's see what happens if we soak them in our favorite liquid. Stay tuned the This egg broke during part of our experiment, so we're going to use it as our control. Here it goes into the water. Water is our control in this experiment. That means that we're going to put one of our eggs in here and nothing should happen, so we'll use it to make sure that everything looks like it's working okay. And I added coffee to the experiment because it's one of my favorite liquids, and I want to see what's going to happen when an egg is soaked in coffee for 48 hours. The shell of an egg is kind of like the enamel of our teeth. Enamel on our teeth is a coating on the outside that protects the tooth on the inside. Sugary drinks, like the ones in our experiment, have acid in them, and that acid can damage the enamel of our teeth. That's what we're gonna see during our experiment. What will happen to those eggs? Wolf, do you have any hypotheses? Oh, there you are. Um, I think, I think the soda is going to make the egg rot. Mm -hmm. I think the lemon juice is going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I think the water is going to do nothing too. What about the coffee? You have another funny voice for the coffee prediction? I think. Is 
I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out. We're leaving our eggs in their liquids for four, no, not four days, 48 hours. That's two days. See you then. Bye-bye. Well, are you ready to reveal our results? Okay, what are you going to take out first? One. This is our control. So? It did nothing. Didn't do anything. Let's see the juice egg. What do you think? Whoa, do you see that? It has like little nodules all over. I think it's making it want to drink lemon juice. What about yeah, other juice? Not other juice either. <laughs> do you think you also drink it though? But do you think maybe I'll brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Finally, let's see the soda. That's the same as coffee. Similar, but I see a lot of spots on the, on the cola soda that I didn't see on the coffee. That makes me still want to drink soda. Wolf, let's see if you can brush those coffee stains off the egg. This makes me need to brush my teeth longer. <laughs> now I'm gonna brush the soda in. Mm. Wow, it's not working as well. Now I'm going to press the juice egg. Here's a shot of all the eggs after brushing. That's our control. It looks the same as when we started. The coffee got very clean because there was no sugar. All the stains came off with brushing. The juice is an interesting one. It was so acidic, it dissolved the whole shell. If you want to learn more about the science behind this one, check out our activity No Shell Egg Drop Challenge in the library. And the soda, well, it got the least clean of all. It didn't dissolve the shell, which was kind of a surprise, but it left all of these little tiny, rotty spots all over. If you're going to drink anything sugary or acidic, make sure you brush. Big science, little songs. Big science, little songs. Big science, little songs. Big science.